Hi there, and welcome to another blog post. This is another addition to the Ask Chris series. A lot of the time when people are thinking about selling their house, going, starting the listing process, they'll have a, a list of activities or renovations or updates uh, throughout the home that they've uh, kind of been keeping for, could be months or years, and that list could be, uh, could be lengthy. Um, and a lot of the time, a lot of the things that are on that list are really of a personal nature um, that you've always meant to do, so then they find their way onto that list when you think about selling. But a lot of the time, uh, the lists that people make uh, don't have any relevance and won't have any impact or benefit uh, throughout the sales process of their home. So what I would suggest, and so I'm asked this all the time, which is why I'm doing this video right now, what I would suggest is if you would like, please give me a call uh, or answer or uh, ask me any questions via email or text. Um, but more than likely, I'd, I would do, conduct a site visit, and then I would take you through the process of how someone is going to view your home. Um, every house will have a, a logical um, sort of pattern on how someone looks at things. And unless it's picked up there, whether it be positive or negative, uh, and then I also have an understanding of how uh, property inspections go. So unless you get an immediate uh, payback as far as return on investment for fixing whatever it is, uh, paint or whatever the case may be or a cracked tile or it'll come up on the inspection and then be viewed as negative uh, being that it's a structural issue, foundation issue, electrical plumbing, roof, venting, that type of thing. If it doesn't fall into those categories there's, there might be no reason to do anything um, So, or there might be reason to do nothing. So really when you're thinking about selling your home then you really want to shift your focus from an ownership perspective to a tenant's perspective. So really, if you were staying in a place and you were renting it, of course you wouldn't invest any more money into it because it's not really your home. So that's what I would suggest that you do. Um, you can contact me if you would like to me to conduct uh, a free site visit for you and provide my comments. But uh, so there you go. Thanks.